It's a beautiful day in the QuickBooks space. A beautiful day in your business place. It's your bottom line, money and time. Since we're together, we might as well say, won't you be my QuickBooks neighbor? Hello, and thanks for joining us today for this episode of QuickBooks and More. A lot of times I get questions from customers on the importance of reconciling their bank accounts, how to reconcile, and what to do if it doesn't come out to the penny. So today I wanted to take you through the process and show you how to do a reconciliation and let's talk through what options you have available. So let's take a look. In QuickBooks Online, you'll go to the gear and choose Reconcile. Now you want to make sure you have your bank statement in front of you and that you're ready to do this because it's going to take just a little bit of time so make sure that you're uninterrupted and it'll go a lot smoother. So we're going to pick the checking account that we want to do. You can also do your credit cards and I would highly suggest that you do that to make sure that you don't miss any transactions that should be reported on your financials. So now that I have the checking account selected, I have my beginning balance, which should match my ending balance from the previous bank statement. You're going to put in your ending balance as of today, and then you're going to select your ending statement date. And we're going to be doing this for January of 22. So I'm going to pick January 31st because that's the statement date on my bank statement. And then I'm going to hit Start Reconciling. This is going to bring up the screen that's going to show me all of my transactions, both payments and deposits. If you want to separate these out, which makes it a little bit easier to do, just select the one you want to work on. So we're going to start with deposits because those are the first thing on my bank statement. So then it becomes just a, a game of match. What's on your statement should be what's in QuickBooks. So I have 175, 8640, so on and so forth. I can see that my total deposits are $1,622.90. And that's what matches my bank statement. So I know that I'm good. Now let's look at our checks and our payments. So these first two have not cleared the bank yet, so we're gonna leave those outstanding. The first one that I show clearing is this one. So now again, I'm just gonna go through and mark off exactly what is on my bank statement and hope that I get to a zero balance. Uh-oh, looks like I'm off by a penny. So that means one of two things. Either my beginning balance was incorrect, I've entered an incorrect statement balance, and I've just double checked those and those are accurate. So then that tells me that either my deposits or my payments are off. We know that the deposits match the bank statement, so we need to look at our payments and compare each one of these to the penny to see what was there. I found the error. Bob's Burger Joint actually cleared for $5.67 not 66. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit and I'm going to change this. And I'm going to hit save. And now I'm off two cents. So I still need to look and see what was wrong. There it is. This one for 3840 is correct. This one though, this check should be for 53 cents, not 52, or 55, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna edit this one. And now I have a zero balance, so I am ready to reconcile. I can hit finish now, and I get the, you know, the, the accomplishment of showing that I have reconciled this bank account. And so now I'm done. And that's how you reconcile a bank account in QuickBooks Online. Should you run into any errors or if you have problems with your beginning balance, please check out one of our other videos where we talk to you about how to handle those discrepancies. Until next time, I'm Beverly with QuickBooks and More.